Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new let's play for Spore Galactic Adventures. In this let's play we're going to be creating a new species starting off in the cell stage and working right the way through into the space age and eventually reaching the centre of the galaxy which is pretty much the final objective for this game. So let's go ahead and pick a world and get started. So we can begin from the cell stage. Now, I'll explain how this game works as we play it, but essentially everything you do will have an effect on how your species turns out. So, what can we name our planet? Well, I think we'll call it Char. I think we'll have the whole um, Starcraft theme going on here, and I think we'll call our species the Zerg. I kind of did a test run of this before, and it worked out pretty well. So. The idea for this species, we're going to be quite an aggressive species to start with, uh, very powerful and we'll become more diplomatic as we go on. So my general idea for this is, um, well, we're going to start off as a carnivore. Now I'm going to explain how the game works as we play it, see, depending on what you do in each section of this game will really affect how your species turns out in the space stage. Now the space stage is permanent, the other stages are temporary, you'll move on from them. So the bonuses that you acquire aren't really as important for those stages as they are for the space stage. But here we are. The game begins. Welcome to the tide pool. Throughout sport, the choices you make impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow and evolve. Growth is measured in the progress bar below. So this is the progress bar and you'll eat to earn DNA points. You can spend these DNA points on new parts to evolve your cell. As you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. Cool. So our objective here as a carnivore is to hunt um, other cells or eat meteorite pieces. Now I'm just going to show you guys what I was talking about there about decisions and how they affect uh, your creature's development of the species. So over here we can see herbivore, omnivore and carnivore. Later on as we enter creature, tribal, civilization and space stage, those uh, things will change to like maybe predator or social or economic or whatever, you know. So the one I'm primarily concerned with is the uh, space stage abilities. The civilization, tribal and creature stage abilities are only temporary. The space stage is the bulk of this game. It's quite long and you really want to be careful about how you develop right up into the space age. So that being said, we're only going to be looking at space age abilities. So here we have Social Suave. This ability gives you uh, an immediate negotiation discount tools on all, you know, discount social tools and stuff, but we don't want that. Then there's the ability gives you discount on all standard equipment. There comes a point where money uh, essentially becomes irrelevant because you have so much of it, so I don't really need that. It'd be good for the start, but what I want here is Power Monger. This ability gives you an increased effectiveness with all weapons. Now that is what I want. That's definitely what I want. And that is why I've chosen the carnivore route. So let's go ahead and begin the game. First objective is to just eat five uh, food or meteor pieces. We can also hunt other cells if we wish. Another aspect of this game is uh, obviously evolution. We have to change our creature, make them stronger, better, faster. And the way to do that is to hunt other creatures and um, unlock new parts. Now at the minute we can see a creature here has a part that we want. But if we can't catch him, I'm gonna leave him alone because there's gonna be a little cutscene in a minute that will explain basically how evolving works. Here it is here. So other cells and meteor bits are key to finding new parts. Each part has unique abilities that can benefit your cell. When you see a new part, swim over to it and collect it. So there's a new part being unlocked to us. Now, in the cell stage, I generally value speed over um, my ability to hunt and defend. I think speed's just much more useful for hunting. So we can now call a mate and enter the cell creator and we're going to evolve our creature for the first time. Hey. 
Another thing, uh, it does show little cutscenes like that. Once you've seen it for like the first time, we'll probably just skip over the rest of them. So, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a very Zerg-like theme. So we'll call ourselves the Zerg. I think it's pretty cool. We'll make ourselves red because the Zerg are red. And we can add attack and break. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my mouth a little bit here. So I've got two mouths. Get that. I'm going to make them bigger. And we can have attack and break. I'm actually going to add these things here called flagella, which will make my cell a lot faster. Like I say, I do value speed over anything else for hunting creatures. So we're now twice as fast as what we were before. Later on, we're going to get more parts to help us unlock um, and become even stronger. So I'm now going... Oh, wow, that hurt. I'm now going to be looking for other cells that have parts that I don't have. And I'm going to be looking for other meteorite pieces so that we can feed and make ourselves stronger. Uh, hunting other creatures, uh, not small ones, but like bigger ones, will actually be beneficial to us because it will give us three pieces of food to eat instead of just one. And that creature there, we can see, used to be quite big, but as our cell has grown, he's going to be quite small now. So this guy is really trying to kill me here. But I think he might even be the same speed as me as well. So I'm just going to have to be careful of him. Eventually he might give up, I don't know. Doesn't really look like I'm really able to hurt him. Ah, there we are. Cool. So that one's taken down. And we're bigger than him now. We can eat him. So we can see here there's a cell called a booster. Uh, why is that important? Well, obviously he has a part that we want. I'm going to have to be a bit strategical about how I hit this guy, because if I hurt him, he's going to try and run away. So if we can just catch him there, good stuff. So we now have a booster. Before I evolve again, I'm just going to eat some more meteorite pieces and just try and grow a little bit bigger, because we need to earn a set amount of DNA points in order to grow and evolve. See if I can hit this guy. Okay, he's kind of getting away from me. Is he? Yep. Okay, cool. There's a big creature there with a poison ability that I want. But the minute he's hurting me because I'm in the poison stream and he killed me. So I'm going to become his dinner, I think. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter. So let's see if I can take down this guy. Obviously, his poison ability pretty dangerous he's strong from the front and uh, he's got his poison ability and he's killed me again right I may have to develop a little bit before I take those guys on so there's another creature here that has wings uh, that I want they're basically good for turning I think I'm actually gonna enter the oh wait can I kill this guy I could have I could have gotten there never mind so we're going to develop our creature a little bit here. I'm going to add these attack and break things on the side. Make them really big. And let's see if we can hunt a little bit better now. Because at the minute we are getting hurt quite a lot. Let's see if I can take down this guy and unlock two new pieces. Yep, I got him once there. He's going to try and swim away now. He is the same speed as me as well, which could be a problem. And we got him. Good stuff. We'll unlock the new ability. The poison's still there, but that's okay. There's another creature here called the Pinky that we want. Now, there's two types of them. There's those guys called the Punky, and these guys called Pinkies. I want to try and take down the Herbivore one if possible, because they don't really have an attack. At least a decent attack. I think they are as fast as me though, so that could be a problem. Let's just see if I can take them down. If I can reach them. There we are. And we were able to kill him as well. That's great. There's another creature there with uh he looks to be an omnivore and he's got a lot of boosters on him. What I'm gonna do is enter the cell creator again and evolve. Hopefully before this guy eats us. Good stuff. So what can we do? Well, I'm going to take off one of these. Maybe both of these. I'll give us a booster. 
get rid of that. And we'll have some wings as well. Our speed is now three. Pretty sweet. And you can see we're just so much faster now. So even if we do get into trouble, we can get away without any problem. And I want to try and take down this guy. And it looks like he's drinking me. That's not good. Can I attack him? Yep. Again. Before he gets away. Good stuff. We unlocked yet another part. So all we have to do now is unlock one one more part. And we'll just keep eating and becoming stronger. We can see the reflection under us there. I believe that's creatures that either are really big or creatures that were surpassed. I think it's creatures that are really big though, I'm not too sure. Or well, one of them just disappeared there anyway. So now there is an electric a uh, creature with an electric ability. I'm going to try and swim round the front of him so he doesn't electrocute me and he did it anyway. Now the good thing about the electric ability is it takes some time to recharge if you want to attack something like that. Uh, wow, I don't think I've seen one of them before. But yeah, we've unlocked all of the parts that we can in this age. So all I have to do really is just eat now and grow my creature. Take down this guy, yep. Stuff. At this point, you're better off just hunting more than anything else. Because there aren't really going to be met much more meteorite pieces left. It's actually harder if you're an omnivore, in my opinion. Although omnivores have all them bits. Um, herbivores, sorry. I think we hurt each other there, but I managed to take him down, luckily. Oh, he's got the poison ability. That's not good. So I've actually got quite a lot of DNA points I can use now. I might go ahead and do that. I'll just swim around this guy. Oh, there's poison there. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous, so I'm just going to use mate and call again. And I'm really not going to get the chance to mate here, are we? Ah, what happened there? I don't know good stuff right so we have electric or we have poison i actually think poison is pretty better in in a way uh can we get electric as well though get electric as well that'd be better yeah so now we've got poison and we've got electric now we're gonna be quite slow but um we're gonna be really strong actually no i'll get rid of electric and i'll, I'll give myself the boost still yeah We've got poison, and we should be able to pretty much just hunt whatever we want. A few more DNA points, and I could have got electric as well. Let's see if we can take down these guys. We're pretty much near the final stage. Did I just hurt myself? I think my, my own species just hurt us there. I don't think we can hunt our own people as well, our own creatures. Although, honestly, I've never tried. Can I attack this guy? No, oh, he's, uh, he's a bit too strong for us, unfortunately. Let's use my new poison ability to try and hurt this guy. I would have to swim in front of him, and it looks like he's just a little bit uh, too much to deal with. He's too fast as well, actually, so I'm going to leave him alone. And let's go find someone that we can deal with, like this guy. Wow, he's quite fast. What about him? That's why speed is actually still very important. And can I get anything for that? Nope. I've just hunted a creature there and I haven't been able to reap the rewards of it, which is a bit disappointing. And he's drinking me and I think I'm dead. Oh, am I dead? No, I'm not dead yet. No. You can't hurt that guy though. Kind of annoying. Yeah, so they've just killed me there. The omnivores. Died quite a few times in the cell stage, actually. Right, I can take on these guys, and if I swim in front of them, we can use our poison ability as well, which is awesome. I'm actually faster than them, so I don't really need to do that, to be honest. Now, let's go ahead and enter the cell creator.
And can we add any more parts? I'll, um, electric, maybe. No, we can't really. Uh, I could get rid of booster and add electric. Uh, electric, yep. And we'll have more of these things, maybe? Or... Yeah, we'll have some more of them. So now we got the electric ability as well. And we should be able to just take down anything we come across now, hopefully. If we can uh, reach them anywhere. We are a lot slower than we used to be, so there's a lot to consider. If I, I can poison this guy. There we are. Uh, I'm going to need to hit a part of him that isn't covered in spikes, I think. There we are. We've got some more food. I think maybe one or two more pieces of food and we can finish the creatures to uh, the cell stage. And have we done it? Yes, we have done it. And we are on our way to sentience. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Good stuff. When it comes to swimming in sludge, you rule the pool. When you're ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button. Okay. So, as you can see, we have successfully completed the cell stage as a carnivore. And we're going to get the power monger ability when we become um, an unpowerful sentient being in the space stage. So, now we have to get some legs and at the minute it doesn't look like much I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff the minute we don't really look like much um, but that is going to change very very soon once we start hunting we can start evolving changing our creature into something that looks a bit cooler but for now I'll pretty much do it as we develop parts we can change how he looks and that so we're gonna go ahead save and exit and we're going to stretch our legs on dry land so the creature stage is really really fun apart from the space stage it's probably the most fun so it's like yeah the tribal stage and the civilization stage are really quick but the creature stage there's so much to do it's just so much fun developing your creature and here we go we've evolved and it looks like we're blocked by some rocks there or something <laughs> we're still blocked okay uh, it's the beginning of a new day and for you a whole new strange and wondrous world air fills your lungs as you stretch your limbs your new home, dry land. The race for to evolve has begun. So, now you're a creature surrounded by your mates. To evolve, you will need to meet the other species on the planet and earn DNA. Earning DNA moves the progress bar. Let's take a look. So, we already know about this. Uh, fill it by building relationships or forcing other species to become extinct. And uh, this is our first objective. Hunt, prey eat food and uh, then there's some general controls that's uh, going to show us how to do things uh, but that is the end of today's episode guys next time we are going to be starting the creature stage and i'll show you guys all the cool stuff that we can do but i just want to thank you all for watching today please like subscribe and all that good stuff leave in the comments if you do have any and i'll see you guys next time take care